In the Nation of Islam, they have an organ or vehicle of their information called the Final Call newspaper. The Final Call newspaper is what I refer to as Pimpin' 101 because of the following facts I'm going to share with you. Number one, when a new believer comes into the Nation of Islam or goes into the Nation of Islam, mostly I would say roughly 70 to 80 percent are unemployed. And based on that reality, an offer is given to most of them to push the Final Call newspaper, which in doing so will get you a 30 percent profit or 30 or 30 cents off each paper sale. Now, although that's enticing and most men who go into the nation fall for that trap. And that's exactly what it is, a trap. Because once they get those newspapers, which are usually given to them on credit, what we call the hundred stack, that you got to bust open. Once you bust that seal, they belong to you. And now you have to give them $70. And you got six days to do so because paper money goes to Chicago on Sunday and you better have your money. Now this right here not only produces debt in the individual believer but also the mosque and also that man's family if he has one. And this is a major reason why they go through what I refer to as the NOI burnout which takes place between one and three years, maximum five, where the believer burns out from being totally tapped of his resources, physical, mental, economic, social, etc. Because four days out of the week, you're giving money. Monday, Sunday meeting. I mean, Sunday, the Sunday meeting. Monday, FOI. Wednesday, believers meeting. Friday, believers meeting. That's four days out of the week that you're coming out of your pocket, then you have the burden of the final call newspaper that you have now become a slave to. And then you have another charlatan that will put a bean pie in your hand and tell you that out of the $8 pie, you get $1.50. And then they bite on that and go into debt and end up eating the pies. You can't make this shit up. I was the minister and captain, so I lived it and I pushed it. So that is indeed pimping 101 and it should be a crime and no man should enter into that form of slavery. More later, salute and peace.